eight in the count of one, four, oh. Here it is then, our founding level. A historic moment for Aston Villa Football Club. The founding lamp has been unveiled 1874, 140 years ago, that four members of the Wesleyan male adult Bible class met to effectively have a meeting which formed the football club. It's nice it's, uh, to be part of the, the history of uh, this great club and um, you know I always remember seeing the pictures or uh, drawings of the four people that uh, were the founder members of the football club and I, I didn't know that they were um, cricketers I believe and uh, they, they wanted something to do in the, in the winter time so they, they formed this great club which I'm proud to follow from I was a little boy. We're lucky, we're lucky people, we're very privileged to have been part of the history of this football club and you know, it's great that the lamp has finally got here and obviously down to a lot of hard work in chasing it along while I take it. I, th I think this is a bigger thrill just to be with, uh, <laughs> with these two legends actually than to, to actually see that up there. It's actually the idea came from when I was trying to write a song about the villa and I knew this story and in my mind I saw a, the light in that flame at Eastfield Road sent from heaven and it inspired those four lads under. And then in my mind I thought, that inspiration, that light is still shining through all villains. And then it came to me, well, why haven't we got a light to mark that again? We've even got a guy related to Jack Hughes who scored the first Villa goal in, in 1874. It's crazy, I mean, to go back as far as you are doing now, um, in time to go back that far, and as you say, for the history and for what you've done, I just find it absolutely ridiculous.